Hello and welcome to Tomorrow's Headlines. Today, I'm your host, Robin Cunningham with Fireside Grace Ministries. In today's episode of Tomorrow's Headlines today, I have a lot to share with you, uh, mostly regarding what's going to be happening in the weeks ahead that we can expect to see a message that I received right from Jesus, audibly spoken about what we can expect to, head in the, expect to see ahead in the next few weeks, and a lot more about Biden and Trump and a whole bunch of other things you're not going to want to miss this one. So stay tuned in. Back. Welcome back. It's so good to see everybody. I'm glad that you're here. I would like to say, first of all, remember to like and subscribe right down at the bottom of your screen there. A large portion of you that watch these videos are not subscribed. So, like and subscribe. Help us to get to where we were before YouTube started to attack our channel. We were at 6,000 subscribers, and now we're down to 2,100, almost 2,200 subscribers. Well, we've built back up from ground zero in the past few months. I mean, in the first month, we reached 1,000 subscribers. We reached 1,000 subscribers the second month or so, or maybe it was 500 subscribers. But since we redid this in June... Uh, July, August, September, we're going on two and a half months. We've got about two and a half thousand subscribers. So we're doing about a thousand subscribers a month, which I think is really great. But there's a lot of people who aren't subscribed right now. So hit like and subscribe. Share this with your videos. If you're watching this on Rumble, also go ahead and rumble us and subscribe to our channel on Rumble as well. That helps us quite a bit. Remember, Brandy also has a channel just for dog training. It's called Expert Training. And she's got a lot of stuff on there. She gives a lot of free tips on how to train dogs and stuff like that. It would be very useful and very helpful to you if you're having a dog trainer. Okay, we are trying to raise money to purchase a vehicle for somebody. We are also trying to raise money for a family of four. So if you would like to help us to sew into these two families with a vehicle and um, to help take care of a family of four, pay their bills and among other things, we won't list all the things because some of these, you know, people watch and I don't want anyone to know, you know, what's going on, but uh, (laughs) I don't want you. I, well, you know, to, I like to keep it kind of, we like to not say where it's going to or to whom it's going. So I can't say too much because typically it's people who watch this and people reach out to us for them for help. And it's not always them who reach out to us for help. So in this case, um, it is other people who have reached out to us saying, hey, these people are in need. So we're, we want to bless them. So if that's something that God puts on your heart, just tell us who it's going to. Is it going to the family of four? Or is it going towards the car or both? If you can't send an email, like you're going to use PayPal, it's right down here, Reformers Church with no apostrophe, because I don't believe it apostrophizes, then let us know in an email, firesidegrace at yahoo.com. Or if you're going to send in something on um, through our website, uh, firesidegrace.com backslash partner with us, and it doesn't give you the option to leave a note, just go ahead and send us an email again. It's firesidegrace at yahoo.com and let us know. And we will make sure that these people are taken care of. And so we cannot do these things without you. You all are the backbone of the Fireside Grace family. And we're very thankful for you and to you and above all to God for blessing us with such great family members like you who want to take care of the body of Christ. So we thank you so much for that in advance because I know you guys will come through. Now, I had... Quite a few. Remember, set your calendars for July, um, September 30th at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time. I will be interviewing L.A. Marzulli about some things. I will uh, bring up my, uh, you would call it a Nephilim skull if you didn't know that um, the Nephilim were just fallen angels and they didn't leave any bodies behind because they haven't had flesh. So, (laughs) but it's a hybrid skull and I have a hybrid femur that somebody sent me. They are replicas, not the real thing. so I will be debuting those as well to, for, for people to see and maybe have L.A. talk about that a little bit and some other things about things that he's seen in different areas, different places around the world and that maybe he hasn't shared with other people in the past. So if that's something you want to be a part of, go ahead and remember to hit a reminder on YouTube. It, it should be down there. It's about two weeks or so from now. You're going to want to check that out. Also, um, 
uh, Joseph's first birthday is coming up here on the 16th. Can you believe that? He's going to be one year old already. Thank you for everybody that blessed us for Asher's birthday and for our anniversary on the 18th. We're very appreciative of that. Okay. So in this tomorrow's headlines today, I had several visions that I want to share with you. And uh, I was praying. I have my prayer shawl that somebody sent me as well. And uh, I, I just had my prayer shawl on and I was just praying to the, the Lord. And I'll tell you what, I prayed over this thing and, and anointed it. And I'm sure that whoever sent it to me prayed and anointed it as well. And let me tell you what, the revelation, the uh, insight that the Lord has given me while I'm praying with that thing on is in, is intense. And I'm going to share just a few of those things that I got with while I was praying with that on. Also, I just want to give a shout out to Kyle Lovett, Kyle Lovett Music. I listen to his worship music, um, instrumental worship music all the time, and it is great. So if you haven't gone and liked and subscribed his music yet, go ahead and, and like and subscribe. It's really awesome. Kyle Lovett Music. All right. Here we go. Backfire. Biden will be caught in the limelight as his prosecution of Trump backfires and exposes many of his illegal dealings. I prophesied this earlier today, wrote this down earlier today before I really started to pray. And then what I got after that, I forgot about this first thing. And what I got after that really ties into that. A missing person will be found in, in uh, Kuso, Kusawachi, Kuso, what? Kuso, Kusahachi? Kusahachi alive and well. I've never heard the name before, um, but the Lord said Kusahachi, South Carolina, that a missing person will be found alive and well in Kusahachi. So pray that whoever it is that has been look, been being looked for will show up, okay? Uh, let's see. The Lord said, Stelter gets exposed. I put Stelter, but I wasn't sure if it's Stelter or Stetler. I'm not sure who that is. But Stelter gets exposed for misconduct. The feeling I got while I was praying was one of very deep embarrassment, kind of like when you've done something very, very wrong, and you don't want anybody to know, and then you get caught, and it's like extremely shameful embarrassment, like... I don't know how to explain it, but like, I don't know if you can remember the most embarrassing situation you've ever had to face in a, in a bunch of people, it, but it was like that. And uh, it was the feeling of doing something terribly, terribly wrong and then getting caught on it. Um, and that was the emotion that he was having. So whatever it was that he gets caught on uh, and mis for misconduct was extremely shameful. So um I don't know how to pray about that. But anyway, the Lord was telling me about Adullam, the cave in Adullam. And then as I started to read 1 Samuel uh, 22, verse 1, the Lord said, go back. I want you to read a couple of verses before that. And I was like, okay, a couple of means two, right? So I went to 1 Samuel 21, 14 through 5. And it says, Akish said to his servant, look, you see, the man is insane. Why have you brought him to me? Have I need of madmen that you have brought this fellow to play the madman in my presence? Shall this fellow come into my house? Okay, so the Lord said to look at the king's name. Akish means he was afraid or he is afraid. The anointed leader uh, was also afraid. David was afraid of Akish because he didn't want to get um, slain by the king. And this is before he became friends with Akish, right? So he pretended to be crazy because he didn't want to be, he was caught. He didn't want to get caught. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And um, David means the beloved and he's the anointed leader. Um, so the anointed leader was afraid. In this case, the, the king was afraid. And uh, he, he, at the time, David wasn't the king yet. So he was, he was anointed to be king, but he wasn't yet, right? So he pretended to be somewhat insane to throw the king, the other king, off of his tracks, so to speak. All right. Now, listen, the anointed ruler then went to the cave of Adullam. Adullam means God's justice and cave is Mi'arat. And it means um, comes from the word Ur, which means to be exposed or to be made bare. Now, what the Lord said after this was he said, Trump has gone to the cave of Adullam. He has acted the fool, but he has been to the Lord for justice and is about to bring a great exposure. That which has been done by Biden out of fear of losing his power, the lies he's portrayed to try to paint Trump as a madman will be his downfall. I heard the Lord say, 
this is a separate vision. And I heard the Lord say that he has delivered America. And then I looked up and I saw a great hand stretched out with a cube in the middle of the palm. And the cube was floating in the middle of the palm and it was kind of like uh, glowing with gold coming off of it, like a gold radiant hue. As I looked closer at the cube that was in his palm, I saw that it was actually a dreidel with the letter Gimel facing up. OK, now stick with me here, because this is this is what I saw. The Lord dropped the Gimel full of light into a tall waterfall. And when that dreidel hit, the floodgates of heaven burst forth and a golden light flooded the earth as waves of revelation after revelation hit the earth. There were waves as as sin was being exposed, but there were also waves of God's heart, his move, and his glory being poured out on his people. So there was this golden, these golden waves that were being poured out over all of the people, over all of um, America, over all of the world. And it was revelation, it was glory, it was revealings, it was exposing, it was just one big glory move of God. So I guess you got was like the greater glory. Now listen to this. These are things that I did not know, okay? The gimel symbolizes a rich man running after a poor man, the dalet. So it goes gimel dalet, right, in, in the Hebrew alphabet. And the it's the rich man chasing after the poor man to give him charity. The word gimel is derived from the word gimul, which in Hebrew means both giving of reward as well as giving of punishment in Torah. Both reward and punishment have the same ultimate aim the reflection of the soul to merit to receive God's light to the fullest extent. So the light being exposed represents um, being exposed to God's light represents being exposed to God's light. What's done in the dark will be brought to the light. Now the rich man, I wonder who the rich man could be. Okay. But it gets better than this. The rich man was chasing after the poor man. Well, the poor man is, is in office right now. Who's padding his pockets to make himself rich, but he's poor. I mean, he's truly poor in spirit, and I don't mean that as in humble. I mean that he is a broke, corrupt person, and that is about to be exposed. So uh, get get this. Now, what does a gimel represent on a dreidel? I did not know, but the Lord told me to ask this up. On the dreidel, when they spin something, when they spin the dreidel, there's different things, which means add to the pot. Um, one means the person gets nothing and uh, so forth. But what the gimel represents is the person who got the gimmel is the player gets everything. The player gets everything. So that is very interesting because I did not know that. Um, then as I was praying, um, the Lord showed me that Germany will reach out for help with oil and natural gas and Russia will threaten to um, attack anyone who intends to help Germany, but help will come to Germany. Okay, now here's the last thing that I saw. I saw a coronation for, for, for Trump coming from the Lord, and he was draping a purple shawl with gold fringes over him and placing a crown and armor on him. And it was like he was a king being given armor. It was this beautiful, like, light white gold colored armor that was very shiny and radiant, and the cloth was a very royal purple cloth with it looked like pure gold fringes on it like a sash of of gold and purple which is amazing um and then i saw uh i heard a shot fired and i saw a 50 caliber bullet coming towards trump and i heard the prayers of the saints interceding for him as he was being coronated and an angel reached out and grabbed that bullet and stopped him from being hit with the bullet um and then as I was praying, here's the last thing that the Lord revealed to me. Um, I was praying, and I smell all of a sudden just a very fragrant perfume of roses. We don't have any rose perfume. Um, we just found out, actually, that Brandy's allergic to roses. Um, and this is the smell that every time that Jesus comes into the room to talk to me, it fills up with a smell of roses. It's just like one of those things where he comes to people and he has this certain smell that each person is like maybe their favorite smell or something. But one of my favorite smells is rose petals. And he shows up to me as rose petals. For Brandy, he shows up as campfire smoke, the smell of campfire smoke. That's her favorite smell in the whole world. Um, to one of my friends, he showed up to her as the smell of jasmine flowers. And so I feel like each person has their own distinct smell 
that the Lord shows up with that they associate with him because it's their favorite smell, their favorite fragrance. And so he shows up to me and I smell roses and I just look at him and, and he's there. And I said, Lord, what can I do for you? And what he said to me was, please tell my people I love them. And when you've heard Jesus's voice, you can't imitate it. It's there's no voice like it. It's the most loving voice, even when he's angry, even when he's like peeved, like I've seen him peeved and his voice is still so loving and there's no voice like it. One time I had a dream that I was being tested. People were trying to get me to drink alcohol and I was like, no, I don't drink anymore. I can have fun with you guys and not have alcohol. I don't need alcohol to enjoy life. And at the end of the dream, I, I, the Lord spoke and he said, congratulations, you passed the test. And uh, it just felt so good. And also, uh, I was like, wow, what do I do now? And so my one of my peers told me, well, just enjoy what you've done and pray that you pass the next test. Just enjoy what you have accomplished and, and the Lord's blessing on you and, and just pray for the, the Lord to help you to pass the next test. And so that is what I have decided to do. But listen, there's more to what... The Lord said, now my phone went off and it's 445 and this whole thing's about 45. And as I come up, I see 45 on my phone. Um, and anyway, what the Lord said next was, I am a promise keeper. Tell them that the weeks ahead will yield great fruit. He said that. And I said, I will do that. And then the rose smell went away. And I walked back into my room. And I took my prayer shawl off, and I sat down to record, so here I am. And then my wife brought me food in the middle of this broadcast, which I think is pretty uh, pretty awesome. So if you notice that there's a little jump in the video for a split second, it's because I had to edit out the part where she came in the room on me while I was recording. But um, I'm very thankful, nonetheless, that she did that. So... Remember to like and subscribe. Don't hesitate. Get the word out. Share this with all of your friends um, and do what you got to do. All right. Like and subscribe right down there at the bottom or I will pray for you and things will change in your life. I will pray for you whether you like it or subscribe or whatever. Anyway. All right. Uh, that is it. All right, guys. Love y'all. Be blessed. And I will see you next time. Until then. Bye.